MyClosetRocks.com where we sell pre-authenticated designer fashion, so check it out. Today I'm going to be going over how to tell if your Fendi Two Doors bag is authentic or not. What I like about Fendi is they mark everything and there are a ton of authentication markers within their bags. And so there are a lot of checkpoints to go through. First things first, if you haven't been able to tell already, this Fendi Monster bag is the authentic one and this black one is the counterfeit one. Now these are from very different years. This one is a lot older and this one is just made in the last couple years. So there are some differences. However, I did have an authentic black Fendi to George that I will upload photos into the blog post, which is below. First, I like to start out with taking a look at the logo. Now this was the first thing that told me that this bag was counterfeit. And so if you just look at the logo on the front, you're gonna see that the authentic one is crisp, clear, and thin, while the one on the counterfeit one is more of a bubble lettering and is a little bit blurry. Now we can take a look at the hardware, and what I like is that every single piece of hardware on this bag is branded, so keep that in mind. It is extremely important and a great determining factor of authenticity. First, as you open the bag, there is going to be a top snap. This snap should have Fendi engraved twice on it. The letters should be equidistant and they should be very clear and not blurry. On the bottom of the bag, you're going to see that there are metal feet protectors. These should all also be branded and have an F and another upside down F together. This again should be very clearly embossed. Now let's take a look at the straps. The straps will have little nubbins on them to adjust the size and these will also be branded on the front on the round part it's going to have the the f and the upside down f again on the back there should be fendi roma the fake bag does not have anything printed on the back of this piece of hardware so that was a big red flag now even the d-rings that attach the strap to the bag should also be engraved with the logo even the little piece of hardware at the end of the zipper will be branded. Now let's take a look at the interior. So this is where it gets a little tricky because the interior is where you're going to find the logo plaques as well as the serial numbers and RFID tags. In older versions of the bag, there will be a black RFID tag and on the back there should be a hologram. Just because your bag has a hologram doesn't mean it's authentic, trust me. In the fake bag, it reads, this label guarantees the authenticity of the garment. This isn't a garment, this is a product. It should say product on that tag if it is authentic. The newer Fendi bag does not have this exact hologram or RFID tag if they started using a different one. And this is one that they say you can cut off and it's removable, but just don't remove it because it doesn't bother you. On the front of this tag, it's just going to say Fendi Roma with some scissors and a dotted line, and it's only gonna be stitched at the top. For the interior logo plex, this is something that you're always gonna wanna look at and they should all have. It should all say Fendi, made in Italy. On older versions of the bag, it will be a black leather tag that is stitched at the top. If you flip that tag over, there should be a 16 digit serial number. The serial number should be two rows. Newer versions of the bag, they're going to have a metal logo plaque. This should also say Fendi made in Italy. It should be backed with a leather piece and stitched around the entire thing. If this wasn't enough, the newer bags also have another serial number. This should be located in the back side of the interior zipper pocket. This should also be a combination of 16 letters and numbers and includes dashes. The interior lining of these Fendi bags are both textile and they both have different patterns. The older ones are gonna be more striped and will have the F symbol in there. And then the newer ones are just going to be plain and will have Fendi vertically stitched into the interior lining. Last but not least, let's look at these little front tags that are super cute and great detail. Um, on the back, they are going to have studs, metal hardware. Um, these should be unmarked. 
However, if there is a little piece of leather that's holding the adjustment strap together, it should have an FF on the hardware. The top handles of the bag will be stitched perfectly and they should be facing each other. Now on the fake bag, it's actually going outwards. The stitching is facing outwards, which doesn't look good. You want the seams to be in and so you don't see that when you're carrying the bag. Please check out the blog below so you can compare and contrast your own with more detailed images as well as what older and newer Fendi bags look like. And please subscribe to my channel and like this video if you thought it was helpful. And thank you guys so much for watching.